The average monthly mortgage repayment in Australia is $2,451. That works out to a whopping $565 per week. Oh my God! In today's video, I'm gonna see if it's possible to pay off a week's worth of mortgage by spending the next eight hours flipping thrift store items on eBay. It's gonna be a huge episode, so let's get into it. Well guys, it's a pretty fast start. I've got a pair of Merrill Gore-Tex. These are the Moab 2s and they go for some pretty decent money. I'm just paying the $5 here today. They do have their laces hiding inside, but we should be able to get ourselves about 60 bucks for those. I've got the Solomons as well. Another pair of Gore-Tex hiking boots. Something you guys should definitely be looking for, guys. I'm pretty much anticipating a good $100 on these and I am paying up for the 35 bucks, but I think I'll get it. I found these as well. Another pair of Merrills, but they were, again, a third pair of Gore-Tex, but $35 on these. I just thought they were a little bit steep per the comps I was seeing on eBay, so I did leave those ones behind. Uh, the Rollies for $38. Never heard of this brand before. Complete leather, genuine, really good make here. These are the Weekenders. There were three comps going for 100 bucks. That was enough for me. I've gone ahead and taken those. Now, how about this in the clothing section for $15, size medium. We've got a Catman Do jumper here. Full zip up, should go for about 40. And then an ultra running hat. Now, I do pick up these Every so often, $3 should convert into about 25 bucks. I considered the Mick Fanning surfing hat for five, but in the end, I did leave it behind. Now, the DVDs, I always like to go in for a bit of a peek, and I did find this one here, Cold Feet. Goes for about $25. Not a huge return off the five, but still a good grab. So it's definitely been a pretty big start for op shop run number one. We've got a pair of Solomons, got a pair of Merrills. They're both Gore-Tex, and they should go for about $160 worth of value. So it's a really good start to our day. Fingers crossed we can hit this budget. There is one thing that I've got up my sleeve, though, that I haven't spoken to you guys about yet. And we've got a secret mystery package to pick up. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. It's a reseller that's giving it to me and are doing it for $65. So I'm very intrigued to see what the resale value will be in that little mix that we're gonna pick up at the end of this video. So stick around for that. Well guys, I'm very excited to see all of these really good shoes in the thrift. The first ones that I've got here are the Nike Air Max 90s. These are the Stingrays and they should go for about 75 bucks. Happy to pay the 20 for those. The ultra running shoes are these ones right here. Really good brand guys. If you could be finding them as you can see there, anywhere between 50 to $60. The Tiger Onisukas. These are a pair of Asics casual shoes. Really popular. They go for about 75 bucks. And I've got these as well, the Adidas Sabalos. They go for about $50 as well. Happy to pay the 15. Jumped into the clothing section as well, guys. Got some RM Williams pants here. Now, various uh, alterations there. They go for about 75 bucks. So to pay the $7 in the thrift, I'm really happy with that. A little bit of wear on the back pocket there, as you can see. But they should go for about 40 bucks, I would anticipate, given the condition. I've also got a second pair here as well. Again, guys, I'm just paying the $7. How can you say no? I don't typically do clothing so much anymore, but when you're buying RM Williams for $7, you really can't be saying no. So two pairs there. Very, very cool stuff. I've also got this one as well that I thought would have been a good grab, but $28. No, thank you. Size medium, Vistler, a really good surf brand if you can find it on this occasion, just a little bit too much. I've got this one as well, though, the Nike SB jumper. I don't know how a Vistler jumper is $28 and this Nike SB is only the nine. It might be the condition. This one was slightly worn, but I did like the look of it, though, guys. So for nine bucks, I've gone ahead and picked that one up. Should convert it into about $40, I dare say. Um, dove across into the furniture section as well. Have a look at this. I used to do some Facebook Marketplace furniture flipping. This mortgage challenge today doesn't involve Facebook Marketplace, so I probably can't be picking this one up, but you could convert this from 40 bucks into no doubt 150 bucks if you whacked it up onto Marketplace. Two runs down, two to go, guys. I'm doing a giveaway on the Nike Air Max 90s. These are a really sweet pair of shoes, US men's size seven. They are in great condition. The resale value on these guys, as we spoke about, they're worth about 50 bucks. So to be in the draw to win these guys, all you have to do is simply go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, and use the code word Air Max in the comments below, and you'll be in the draw to win these pretty sweet pair of kicks. Um, I'll draw out the winner next week. Well, it's not every day that you walk into a thrift store and come away with an absolute grail, but for $30, I'm coming away with a Pirelli Dry Rider waterproof racing jacket. This one's a size medium. I reckon I'll be able to convert it into about $100 to $150. Let me know your thoughts on that one in the comments below. For $7, we've got a Canterbury Bulldogs NRL pair of footy shorts. These go for about $30 every single day of the week. I thought I found another really good pair of running shoes here, guys. These ones did look the part for $12, but unfortunately... Oh, my God! 
he had a pretty horrendous sole tear at the bottom of the heel there. So I had to put them back on the shelf pretty quickly. Ran into another store and I had an old mate here, my uh, cool store manager, find some DVDs for me. Unfortunately, on this occasion, there wasn't too many, but it um, didn't really matter because I was seven bucks. How sweet is that Pirelli racing jacket, guys? Don't know whether to do a buy it now or an auction. Let me know in the comments below. I just had a really quick update for the guys over in Perth, Western Australia. I'm coming across Wednesday, September 28, and I wanted to do a bit of a reseller meetup event. Basically, just catch up at a pub and have a beer and talk about eBay, which we just don't get to do enough of. So if you're WA-based, if you're in Perth and you wanted to come along, RSVP at the Aussie Flipper, and I'll put you down for what will be, hopefully, a really cool event. Well, guys, if you ever wanted to see what inflation is doing in these thrift stores, there is no better example than this Gold Coast Titan singlet. $18. Are you kidding me? Uh, some DVDs. Let's move on. I've got this collection here. We've got Californication. Every single episode, I've got a $50 sale price. This one's going for 3 bucks a piece, $21. Couldn't quite do it. Had to say no to Goofy as well at $7, so put him back. Uh, I jumped into the shoe section. These are the Adidas Ace 17.3s. They go for about $45, uh, maybe $40, bucks, and I'm paying the... Well, $10 here in the thrift. So on that occasion, I did leave it behind. These are the Reebok DMX Max. They're actually a really good pair of shoes. They go for about 45 bucks. But for $8, I just think the sell-through rate is going to be a little bit slow. So I did leave them as well. I've also left these based on the sell-through rate as well. These were the New Balance. I think the 670 V3s. It was actually two pairs at $15 a piece. But unfortunately, again, like I was mentioning, sell-through rate. It does mean a lot. All right, guys, I've just arrived at the house to pick up this mystery package. I'm paying $65. I have no idea what's inside. This is a person that I know. They know what I sell. So fingers crossed there's some really good stuff in here. I'm really excited to see what they've got for us. So I'm gonna grab it now, take it back home, and I'll show you what's inside. Now, guys, I'm already liking what I'm seeing here with these top two items. The first one is we've got a Lego Nintendo Wii uh, remote. And this one as well is a good one because it's a Wii Motion Plus remote as well. And I know they go for a few more dollars. So this right here... I know these are worth about 40 bucks and these could be worth about 30 to 40 dollars as well so it could be about 80 dollars worth of value there in just a couple of remotes so that's a really cool start uh, we've got a playstation 3 game here as well sonic the hedgehog complete with a manual so that's always going to help the cause not sure exactly how much that one's going to go through but i'll put some comps up here for you as well as an accumulation of where we're at for our mortgage repayment for this uh, little challenge that we're doing today. Um, now, this is an awesome TV show. We've got six seasons from the looks of it here, six seasons of the TV show Heartbeat. Now, I do know having sold this series a number of times before, that it is a huge bolo DVD to be looking out for, guys. Every single one of these individual seasons goes for about 20 bucks a piece. So with six seasons here, this could be about $120 worth of estimated resale value. Uh, I will do my comp checks, but that is an awesome DVD set for you guys to be finding. So I'm very happy to have that in this little bundle, uh, especially considering I've only paid $65 as well. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got season one, volume one here. Now this is an awesome TV show to be finding. Uh, if you can find them in their little box like this of any sort of DVD set, it's always gonna go up to be a few more dollars on eBay, I've come to notice. So great TV show, awesome to get that one in the mix. That will sell well. Here we go. Boston Legal, the complete series. That is an absolute ripping TV show as well. Should go for about 50 bucks. That's typical for a complete series set. Uh, 27 disc box set there. That is an awesome little find as well. And we've got one more, which is a little DVD series bundle here as well. Series one, two, and three, Da Vinci's Demons. There it is there. I don't know exactly how much this one comps up for, but the numbers will tell you there on that, uh, on that side of the screen. So, that's it, that's everything. We've got a lot of DVDs and some video game type stuff there as well. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if I've done my numbers correctly, that that might just tick us over the edge for the $565 that we needed for our mortgage repayment for this week. Sorry guys, I forgot to end the video by saying if you wanted to see how I've set up my eBay business in my own house, you can check out this video right here because hopefully it'll help you.